Are you in Lake Havasu City and you're wanting to go to, I don't know, maybe a little fancier restaurant for dinner or a special occasion, an anniversary, a birthday? Well, what are some of the great locally owned and operated restaurants here that kind of a little fancier, you know, a little more upscale than, than the average? Well, that's what we're gonna talk about today. Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Carol Darrow. I am a realtor here in Lake Havasu City and on this channel, I talk about Lake Havasu City. I also talk about real estate and I put the two together. I talk about what you're gonna need to know when buying or selling a home here and then just in general, what is Havasu about? Why do you wanna be here? Uh, if this is the channel that you're interested in or looking for more information, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you're reminded every time I have a new video. So Lake Havasu City is a fairly small town and we do not have many um, chain restaurants. We do have a ton of locally owned and operated restaurants. So those are the ones I'm gonna share with you today. But if you are thinking about something a little, little high end, more upscale, a little fancier, where would you go? Well, today I am gonna share with you three restaurants that I think are a little more upscale, a little high end, um, in addition to some of the other restaurants that I've already shared with you. Um, so number one is Chagru's Bar and Restaurant. Now Chagru's is um, one of six or seven restaurants that the Chagru's brothers um, own together here in Lake Havasu. And um, it was one of the first ones. It is on the lakeside of the highway. They have amazing food, just absolutely delicious. Um, they have great seafood, great steaks. Uh, their menu um, is updated and it's just, it's just fresh and delicious. The staff, so nice, so attentive, just always, always on. I, I don't think I've ever had bad food or bad service at Chigurus. Um, I will put their phone number and their website email below. Before you decide to head over there for a dinner, please call ahead, make reservations, um, make sure that you can get in. Chagru's has been a favorite restaurant um, here in Lake Havasu since 1988, and they just are amazing and, and just a great restaurant. They also have this huge banquet hall underneath the restaurant uh, that has a amazing outdoor view of the London Bridge. A lot of events are held there, weddings. In fact, my mom was married down in the, the banquet room downstairs. And um, it's just, it does a lot of great things, events and weddings and parties. Uh, definitely a place if you're looking to do something like that, you will need to call them for sure uh, it, it, and check it out. It's awesome, really great. My second favorite restaurant to go out um, for fancy dinners or anniversaries or birthdays is Chabon's. Now, Chabon's is, I love the atmosphere there. It's modern, they have uh, large color, colorful artwork. They have huge um, waterfalls when you first walk in. It's just, I just love it. It's just so awesome, peaceful, and I love the atmosphere. Definitely check that out. Uh, they have a chef that is always on. He has great specials. We go there for lunch, um, and, and he always has a really unique and, and tasteful uh, special. And for dinner, um, they have lamb, which is, um, you know, one of my spoils that I have like once a year. And they, they serve lamb there. It's delicious. Their steaks are always exactly right you know sometimes it's hard to get a steak you know right where you like it in the temperature and the wellness and always spot on their chef there is fantastic um, and the staff this all of the staff not just the chef but all of the staff the waiters the bartenders everybody is so attentive and just fantastic that is one of my most favorite places to go. So you, I would love for you to check that out and give me your opinion. Um, again, I will put their phone number and website below. Definitely, definitely call and get a reservation because 
their reservations fill up really fast. Actually, I've had to call like two days ahead to make a reservation, especially if you have a large party. Uh, so definitely check that out and let me know what you think. The third restaurant that I'm going to share with you today is Montana Steakhouse. Now, Montana Steakhouse has been in Havasu for absolutely ever. I, I don't remember it not being here. And um, it has had many owners throughout the years. Uh, recently, the most recently, some of the employees, the people that work there, bought it out and are running it. And that just warms my heart. I love it when that happens. Uh, so you'll definitely need to check that out. It is on the south side of town and it is open just for dinner. So you'll want to call ahead and make reservations. They do have a Sunday brunch, which I've taken my mom to a couple times. It's delicious. Um, and just so you're going to want to check that out. Montana Steakhouse does, of course, steaks, but they also have some great seafood dishes. And um, I hope you like it. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Sometimes it's hit or miss. Sometimes it's excellent and sometimes it's a miss. So I hope when you go, it's amazing. Um, okay, so that's number three. So I know I told you that we had three. Well, I lied. We have two more, two more, two more that I wanna share with you today. One of them is, it's the Refuge. I don't know if you've ever been to the Refuge. It is a gated community and the Refuge Clubhouse and Bar, you, it is open to the public, but you have to call ahead. Um, you have to make sure that they are serving the public when you're wanting to get in. Sometimes they have private parties and they close the dining room altogether. But if you can get in, the food is spectacular. The view is, holy crap, the best view of the lake that you can have in a restaurant, like the whole lake. It, it's just, it's gorgeous. You have to have to check it out. Um, and like I said, the food is excellent. I took my mom there for Mother's Day and um, it was just really good. It was, it was fantastic. My mom had these, oh, squash raviolis, butter squash raviolis. And um, <laughs> she, she usually leaves a little bit on her plate and she didn't leave anything. It was, it was awesome. She loved it. And that's, it made me happy because it was her day. So definitely want to check out The Refuge. I'll put their web, website below and their number. Like I said, please call ahead and make sure that they are um, open to the public on the days that you're wanting to go because sometimes they're not. It is a private club. So check that one out. The second bonus restaurant that I want to talk to you is called Romano's. Now it is super new to Lake Havasu and uh, it is kind of locally owned. Um, the gentleman that owns it owns a couple other restaurants called Romano's in California and he opened one here. Now I believe that he summers here or has a house, has had a house here for a really long time. So we're going to consider him local. Okay. One, because the restaurant is delicious and you have to check it out. So it's not super fancy, um, but the food is amazing. Uh, a couple times, well, almost every time I've been there, I can't get away from the chicken piccata. It is, gosh, the best chicken piccata I have ever had. It is the perfect blend of butter and oils and it's just delicious every time. So check out Romano's. I'll be sure to put the website and the phone number. Um, so check it for uh, when they're available, when they're open, and I hope you enjoyed it. Well, thanks for watching. I really hope that you enjoy these little tidbits about restaurants and places to go here in Havasu. If you have any questions at all, leave a comment. I also have my contact information below. You can call, text me, email, anything that you need. And especially if you are looking to buy or sell a home here in Lake Havasu. That's what I do. I love real estate and I would love to help you. I hope you have a great day. We'll see you next week.